Good morning. Good morning. It is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, so what day is that? January 17th, right? 17th. Yes. Um, and we are on I-35 headed north toward our adventure location for the day, which is... I'm excited about it. We're yeah. going to the Saxon Bog. Yes. We are going to the Saxon Bog. And we are going to see what kind of birdies we can find. So, um, we are, we're off on an adventure and we thought we would take you with us. Okay, we're in Cloquet. We're in Cloquet. I don't believe I've ever been to Cloquet before. I haven't. So now we have to pay attention because we're in uncharted territory. And what were you just saying? This is why you like birding because why? It takes me to places. Yeah. And Darren's never met a road untraveled that he didn't love. I didn't want to check it. It could out. be in the middle of nowhere. He's interested time. always, no matter what. So what was the question you just asked me? All right, so what do we want to see today? What do we want to see today? Um, okay, so there are boreal species here that we can't see anywhere else. I think we're not, like we're both like great gray yeah, owl. Yeah, I mean, like, gray owl would be like the top of the list. For that's me. the top of the list. Yeah. yeah. I would. They also have snowy, snowy elves. Yeah, that would um, be cool. Which, which we've seen already this year elsewhere, but not in as natural of a area. So that would be cool. Yeah, I agree. That would be super cool. Um, they also have a whole lot of winter finches that I've never seen before. Like, honestly, almost everything that shows up this time of year here is stuff that I've never seen before. I think it would be really cool to see a black back or a three-toed woodpecker too but I don't know I yeah. don't think they've seen a, one of those they haven't seen yet this winter so yeah. I can't remember which one it is okay here we go That's a black cap right behind you. But there is an interesting sound back in there. Something's drumming back in there. Stop one. Yes. The Warren Wooster Memorial Block. That was cool. Just a good little boardwalk. Pine Grove Speak. Maybe a quarter mile in, not a quarter mile back. Yeah, first time we've ever seen Pine Grove Speak. That's cool. Some downy woodpecker, some hairy woodpecker, some uh, black cap chickadees. We heard some red squirrels. Yeah, lots of red squirrels. We heard blue jays. We heard uh, ravens. Well, Darren, this is kind of the story of our birding lives, right? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. trick is that you actually hear a lot more birds than you see. And memorizing bird song is really hard. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. We have a bird way, way over there, right? Yep, it is. And we know he has dark band, but it's not around his neck, it's up by his eyes. Yep, so it's a dark black across the eye. Gray bird. Gray bird, black wingtips, and also black tail feathers. I think, I don't know, I think this is a shrike. Here, come take a look. Okay. All right, he just flew. So we're gonna finish it here. But I agree 100%. And we just looked it up on Merlin. Yep. And totally. That's cool. It's a new Northern species strike. for both of us. Northern Life strike. list. Yay. Yay. So that was not a new one for you, but that was a new one for me, right? All those red poles? Mm -hmm. Yep. They are cool, and I hadn't seen them that well. Yeah. So. Through my camera lens, they look bigger than and that. And a week ago, <laughs> they were new for me, so. Yeah. so cool. Is that a pine siskin? No, he has a red pole. That's a red pole, I think. Do you see him? I do see him. Yeah, he's got the red. It's a common red pole. I might try to get a photo of that one. I think that's a shot, eh? Uh -huh. Nice. So there was a bunch of birds on this feeder over here. Yeah. And then... I clicked. No, and then something came in and chased him away. Which is typically what a jay does, right? Yeah. But right now they all look like common red poles. Oh, no, there's a gross grosbeak. A female, I believe. Oh, there she is. Yep. It's a, pine, okay. it's a pine grass beak, right? Mm -hmm.
That was pretty and kind of cool. I know snowy white owls, like the white white ones are cool, but I actually like the barred ones. They're interesting, you know? Sure. So that's the update. Probably can't see it yet. Here, let me see. See all those people? They're parked. That could be good news. We shall see. This is prime bog habitat though. So this is what we've been looking at all day. Stands of trees. It's kind of cool though. They have feeders out lots of places. So it could be that these people are just stationed at the feeder checking stuff out. Okay, last shot of the day. Where are we going? The Brussels Dog Walk. And somebody lost their glasses, so it's not so good. There's a little guy over there. Oh, look. All kinds of books on birds. Okay, I think that's a wrap. Well, so, Aaron. Yes. So it's five hours round trip from our house. Yes. Was it worth it? Um. Yeah, I think it was worth it. I think they have. I mean, we were just talking about that the bird feeders make a huge difference, and they sort of have a coordinated way that you can find those. Yeah. Um. I think. The habitat is obviously special. It's not common in the state. We saw today black cap chickadees by the gross. Yep. It's, uh, pine gross, gross beaks. Yeah, pine gross beaks. We saw males and females, although we saw more females than males. Yes. We saw Harry and Downy woodpeckers. Harry and Downy woodpeckers, many which, of them. Which you can see lots of places. Yeah, although I don't think I've ever seen them in this kind of abundance. Yep. They are everywhere. Yep. That's kind of amazing. So lots of crows. Lots of crows. So ravens. And ravens. Yep. We saw a snowy owl. Yes. That was probably the biggest budget thing we saw for the day. Um, we saw snowy owl, um, common red bull which is the first time I'd ever seen one of those. They're very cute. They are the size of a goldfinch, but they're kind of red. They're, they're cute. We saw, I think, house sparrows. Or, I was gonna say a hoary red pole, so you just take your I, off. Yeah, and I'm almost positive we saw a hoary red pole by itself, which is a little unusual, but I really do think we did. Yeah, I don't know what else that would have been. I looked at it than I did, but we both saw it, and I, I agree. I don't I know what else it would have been. a northern shrike um, and we saw starlings we think um, what else um, we had both white and red bust breasted nut hedges yes white and red busted nut hedges which you can see in the metro although I don't think I've seen a red breasted um, one down there white breasted. I don't think the red breasted are very common I don't yeah I don't think I, I don't actually think I've seen a red breasted before we, we, we saw that Oh, we saw a blue jay. That's right, I forgot we did see a blue jay. I didn't get a photo of that. Um, I think that's all of them. That's the list. On the way up, we saw lots of uh, red tailed hawks. We saw a white. A number of bald eagles. Yeah, bald eagles. Yeah. So, it's 4.30, it's getting dark. We're headed home.